Here we have Bob, a network operator on a team in charge of maintaining the company's network. His network engineer counterpart, Nick, helps to identify technical solutions for network performance and management inefficiencies. They currently utilize Cisco Catalyst SD-WAN to securely connect sites and automate cloud workload connectivity. Bob has a dilemma. One part of the network is on SD-WAN and another part of the network must keep their devices running traditional routing in non-SD-WAN mode. But he would like to reduce overall troubleshooting time as well as the number of tools used in the process. No worries, because starting with 20.12, 17.12 software, you can now monitor and troubleshoot both parts of the network in a single place using SD-WAN Manager, formerly vManage. With a few clicks in Cisco Network Plug and Play, we can specify the mode for our devices as you see here. Now the device list will show us which ones have been configured in SD routing mode. Whoa, it's that easy? I'll also ensure that we have provided our smart account credentials as well as enabled PNP Connect Sync so that new devices are automatically onboarded. This means I can generate bootstrap configurations to connect our non SD WAN devices to SD WAN Manager in only a few seconds. I can now monitor and troubleshoot SD WAN and non SD WAN devices in one place. In order to simplify user experience, you can now select SD Routing Mode in SD WAN Manager and hide all SD WAN related menu entries that are not related to SD routing devices. Okay, so now a non-SD-WAN device is onboarded and we can see that it's been given a health score of FAIR. Let's click into the device 360 to dig deeper. Oh, I can see it already. The memory utilization is way too high for normal usage. It's good to know that if needed, I can also utilize the same troubleshooting tools on SD-WAN Manager. Now how does it all work under the hood? With configuration ability to come in 20.13, Non-SD-WAN devices are onboarded and managed using the same secure TLS-based control connections used in the SD-WAN fabric. We can see here that our SD routing devices have the same control configurations as our SD-WAN ones. By utilizing NetConf programmatic access, we can issue real-time commands, receive notifications and alarms, as well as configure and update devices through SD-WAN Manager. To learn more about Cisco Catalyst SD-WAN, visit us at cs.co forward slash SD-WAN.